so for them I'm wondering how for motion pump works this is for motion pump from Volkswagen Golf MK4 okay so here is the main pump here hidden where these two pressure lines are coming out so this pump is divided into two sections so one section this high diameter hose goes to the pressure side this goes directly to the engine of course fuel filter in between so this pump suction is located inside this housing so she doesn't pump doesn't suck fuel from the bottom of the tank it sucks from the this housing okay so how the fuel enters this housing see this small hose this is also pressure side from the fuel pump it goes into this it goes into this piece here so one part of it goes into here this hose and here you can see here this is like small ejector the i don't know how much you can see okay you see fuel goes to here into this there is a check well here so the fuel can enter and can't leave okay that's it that's how pump is sucked from the right half of the tank eh, from the rest of the part so here this small diameter hose goes into here so that piece goes into the small that piece entered into this part this is located at the in the left section of the tank so this here connects to this okay then fuel travels through here and here is also ejector so fuel goes around here makes vacuum vacuum negative pressure and sucks the rest of the left tank fuel so it sucks fuel for the left tank through here then fuel from this pump this small hose and fuel from the left tank is trans transferred into the right section of the tank okay this is a really complicated system not quite easy to understand so this is the pump from the mk4 pd engine this is from pd 130 i'm not quite sure are they any different on pd 115 pd 150 so in this video you can also see how to take apart this pump it won't be in english but uh, it is what it is okay so this is one type this is from pd engine pd engine is sp specific because this pressure side pressure is only half a bar that's like i don't know seven and a half psi or so so okay this is one type of the pump now i'll show you here a second type of the pump and i'm not sure from which engine exactly it is but it also is one another type okay so this is also from mk4 golf fuel pump from four motion it also has so tank is divided into two portions that's why this is needed usually when tank is not divided because of the differential you have only one pump like this just a regular normal fuel pump so this is different type of the pump just like i said also from the mk4 don't mind this hose this is someone <laughs> i don't know who did this but it's wrong okay so this pump sucks fuel from the right portion of the tank not the housing there's the biggest difference so suction is from this lower part of the fuel housing fuel pump housing so you can see here filter here so that's the main difference also this pump is specific i don't know from 
for which engine this pump is but this pump doesn't have fuel pressure at all so it only puts all fuel from the left portion of the tank into the right tank that's her only job and housing is always full of diesel so pump suction is from lower portion it transmits fuel from the left portion to the right via ejector okay now i hope that part is clear for the suction on the pressure side i say suction because here is no pressure okay what happens here you have another fuel pump probably i guess you need some sort of pump to make vacuum here and when you suction fuel from here you suction from the fuel housing okay so pressure of the pump is in this sorry it's not in that it's here so fuel pressure from the pump goes to the ejector mainly and small portion goes not in this hose it goes into this housing so this pump half of the, its fuel goes to ejector and half goes into the, this housing so when this housing is full we see here small hoses holes sorry so fuel exits here leaves here this whole housing is sealed so only way the fuel leave is through these holes and via pump of course so that should pretty much make it how it works now you will see videos you have part videos in the creation uh, i know you can't understand probably if you're watching this in english anyways but you can see what i was doing and what's happening so that's it for now Uh, this pump was fitted on my MK4 Jetta, also known here in Europe as Bora, Volkswagen Bora. So, what was happening here? I don't have power that car is supposed to have. My car is Volkswagen Bora PD115. Car goes like shit. <laughs> So, obviously, problem is the pump because I don't have fuel, any fuel pressure. So, some of you may said this pump is not working correctly. It is working correctly. But this housing is not made to, so that you have any fuel pressure here. Now, I will put this aside. This ejector from the left side is a little better shape than this one, so you can maybe better understand what's happening. Here you have fuel sender unit, one on the left portion of the tank, one on the red, right portion of the tank. This resistance plus these equals resistance from the table in your vehicle on the for the fuel gauge in your vehicle. Why are they calculated together? Because when the car go, for example, in the left road, so you, you go left, fuel goes into the right half, this one lifts up, this one goes down, and you always get the fuel in the right position on your fuel gauge. If this is not the case, if you only measure fuel in the right tank, your fuel needle will always go like this or you need to have some like electronic delay from the fuel gauge to not to jump like that but if you park cart on the left hill again you will have a wrong fuel indication so Volkswagen so what Volkswagen managed to do here so I need to say this immediately I'm not a Volkswagen fan at all I mean, it's really bad design of a car and it has a lot of flaws. This, what they made here, they managed to made, make 
uh, one fuel pump for both of the portions of the tank and you never get air in the lines so it's a brilliant method for fuel transfer from the both portions via only one pump that's why you have ejector and that's why you have pump divided into two sections so that's all in a moment I'll show you a demonstration how this works I'll make small imagined two portions of the fuel tank and I'll show you how that works in the real life okay so this is connector from the for this fuel pump I don't know how much you can see it's from 1 to 4 number 1 is the plus so negative is positive terminals are located far from the left far more most to the left and far most to the right so these ones so this stays like here so the right one is negative left one is positive or if you want to buy the numbers, number one is positive, number four negative. Okay, so just so I can explain, this will be our left portion of the fuel tank, this will be our right portion of the fuel tank, exactly as it, it is in your car, if you have for motion, of course. So I put this fuel pressure line into this tank. So you can imagine this is the engine. So this fuel pump is usually to work required to have some sort of the fuel return line because fuel return line goes directly to the fuel housing. So fuel pump housing, not in the tank, in the housing. That I forgot to mention. It's a bit important part. So when this works ideally this fuel would vent into this part of the tank and at the same time will be pressurized to the engine that is how it should be this may be the problem so this will go empty that's for sure but since we don't have fuel return here into this housing Maybe the fuel pump will be left dry. You don't want them to dry, run on dry for a long time. So first worry is, can this pump prime itself or I need to pour some diesel into this housing? Because to build up pressure, this pump needs fuel, but since this housing doesn't have anywhere like direct suction line from the diesel like I said it suctions only from this housing so maybe this pump will be able to pump some air into these lines to pull some fuel from here somewhere around here to build up some kind of the pressure because that injector on the other side which goes with is which is supposed to pick up fuel from the right half of tank like i said there is also small injector maybe some air bubbles will be enough to open the check well and let the fuel enter we'll see now anyways when i am going to put this in the car I will put some diesel directly into the housing just to prevent getting air all everywhere in the lines. I mean air will, will be entering lines anywhere <laughs> anyhow but it should be okay I guess. So, so in this case what happened why the pump didn't f uh, pressurize fuel all the way because by my mistake mm, here is too low fuel level 
we need more fuel so we can fill up this housing okay so maybe if we had a fuel return here this would work we will try that immediately ah like this this could work now let's try So you can see here, suction from the left tank. Okay, so that now sucks here. And this tank, okay, now we can see housing. The fuel housing is filled and it overflows into the tank. So that's the most important part here. As we can see now, this pump works. As it should. Okay, so I would also like to mention why there is a check wheel in this housing. So when you turn off the car like this, fuel stays in the housing, doesn't go anywhere. So you can always start the car and drive. Although fuel level in the tank is low, and you can see housing it is full. So that's why the housing is closed. And the uh, why is there check wheel? So you have over is full fuel. So when you start the car, fuel is sucked from the housing, and you have fuel. All of the left part of the tank is empty, and the right is almost empty. So that is how it works. It's <laughs> not simple, but it is simple when you understand it. Okay, I hope now everything is clear. Now we are going to mount this in my car and we'll see will it go any better. I hope it will. It <laughs> got to. This ejector now sucks air and puts air in the right half of the tank. So it's not a problem because it sucks air. But if you had two fuel pumps like this and you suck into one line and they pressurize them into one line if there enters any bubbles it goes directly to the engine the engine will like uh, choke a bit but you can see here although here sucks air here line is perfectly clear, clear without any bubbles because it sucks from the fuel pump housing Great. This is how this is supposed to work. And you actually can hear this sound in your car, this sound of ejector sucking here. And it's kind of funny. I mean, <laughs> When the car is turned off and you turn on the fuel pump, you can hear like this sound. <laughs> and that's it.